okay so rohan uh, first of all congratulations for getting selected in uh, technical university def in uh, netherland for ms program and uh, yeah and thanks a lot for coming here for interaction and thanks a lot rahul for uh, uh, sparing your time for this interaction it's it's my pleasure so congratulations rohan for your selection first of all thank you sir okay so rohan uh, you you have got you are electrical engineer and uh, you got selected in netherlands technical university for ms in technical university delft so uh, this is quite a good university and uh, netherland itself is a great place to stay and you know so get educated and this is in sustainable energy technology uh, yeah. which itself is a very uh, you know interesting domain to work in for higher education so uh, rohan this entire interaction is uh, 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 going to be in the direction of information which you will be providing uh, that will be very helpful to so many thousands of students who aspire to go for such courses abroad आपने कैसे अप्लाई किया द मेथड मेथड हाउ यू अप्लाइड एंड स्कॉलरशिप्स अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर स्कॉलरशिप्स विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट एंड इन बिटवीन द इनपुट्स फ्रॉम राहुल विल आल्सो बी वेरी वेरी यूजफुल एज मेंटर सो राहुल हैज हेल्प्ड एंड गाइडेड यू सो दैट आल्सो वी विल बी डूइंग सो लेट मी स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम योर साइड रोहन फर्स्ट गिव अस वेरी ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ यू फ्रॉम व्हिच पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया यू आर व्हेन डिड यू ग्रेजुएट व्हिच कॉलेज यू ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशंस uh so i started my graduation in 2017 from mit wpu pune so it was a autonomous university at that time and uh, the specialization i chose was electrical uh i got passed out in 2021 along with that uh, since there was lockdown i started with my gate preparation as well uh with uh, throughout my gate preparation i came to know that master masters is what i aspire to do so uh at, during that phase i explored a lot and uh, uh i started uh, knowing stuff like from november or uh, november 2020 i was into masters mm -hmm. so let's study uh, and go abroad let's try over there mm -hmm. so i started uh, searching for universities searching from programs how it works mm -hmm. uh gre exam ielts exam so i uh, immediately after my gate i appeared uh, the immediate next week i appeared for ielts mm -hmm. and uh, i got seven band over there mm -hmm. uh later Uh, later on i started working on my sop since may uh, so i started with uh, i started sh uh, shortlisting universities and working on my sop simultaneously mm -hmm. so it took me around 2 uh, months to have a first draft of my sop ready mm -hmm. and uh, along with that the lors and the university shortlisting i had a couple of universities in mind including uh, the delft so uh, later on uh, ankit sir helped me with uh, sops as well and uh, when we came to the eighth draft i guess that was the final draft uh, which we had and then we made it more university centric mm -hmm. so i applied almost to seven colleges till now mm -hmm. uh, including four from sweden delft mm -hmm. uh, twente and uh, two three in uk mm -hmm. so 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 why were you applying only in european uh, colleges and universities uh so the program that i was targeting the sustainable part uh it's uh, much better in china and uh, european sector okay mm -hmm. and now my next question is related to this only why this course only you want sustainable energy uh yeah because uh, like uh, i had like i have uh, came across various programs in my graduation as well so my college had a specialty that they uh, used to have this modern technology involved in uh, every sector Mm -hmm. so each sec each subject that taught us was uh, related something to contemporary that is happening with the society mm -hmm. so sustainable was a part of it and uh, uh, the electives that i chose during my uh, graduation as well was uh, towards e mobility and sustainable side okay great. so decentralization of grid uh, was a thesis of my uh, professor at uh, graduation as well mm -hmm. so abhi rohan ye jo aap ja rahe hain jis course mein you are going in this university in netherland sustainable energy technology that is the course you have chosen uh, uh, you just mentioned e mobility term also so let me ask you uh, e mobility is going to be a very big domain e vehicles and all so aap mere ko ye bataiye ki kya the courses the course which you are choosing it has e mobility or these kind of new technological learnings as a part of its curriculum yeah it has uh, e mobility as well uh, along with that is has biomass and other uh, geothermal energy as well as its 
and uh, there are clusters for the program so it's not just uh, if you are doing specialization you will doing uh, you will be doing it in solar or wind energy mm -hmm. so you will be having a cluster so you can have autonomous system that is uh, wind solar and power or you can have solar power economics so these clusters uh, make the program uh, like more specific towards what you have to study and what you want to study so e mobility is one part of it it uh, e mobility also adds its own cluster with regards with economy and with regards to solar system uh, okay. sorry the storage systems so rohan you applied in all the seven universities in the same profile energy technology and uh, yeah and most of them were in same profile uh, except for some uh, there was no separate e mobility course so i have to apply it in power engineering itself mm. so so can you name those universities rohan because many students who are interested in sustainable energy technology for masters or phd uh, they will get benefited if you name the universities because you have already done the homework for that uh, yeah so yeah. Uh, delft was one of it twente university of twente it's in netherlands itself mm. uh, sweden for universities i had was uh, kth royal mm. uh, there is a chalmer upsala and uh, limpoping okay uh, along with that for us i had a uh, queen mary and stadtclad okay so these universities and result is awaited right uh, queen mary i have got admit stadtclad i have got admit uh, also i have applied for a uh, dual masters program for eit so that uh, admit also i have and uh, the sweden admits are uh, awaiting for like 7th of april but you are decided to go for netherlands right yeah uh, okay. hmm. yeah no rohan you know one question normally comes from uh, student side is like uh, ms mein scholarship kam milta hai I, I, you told me that you are waiting for scholarship of uh, feb mein result aayega uska but uh, rohan you know if 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 even if a scholarship is there we need to make investment you know there is a huge investment i want to ask you related to that part how much money you have spent so far इन इंडियन करेंसी रुपीज के टर्म में कितना आप स्पेंड कर चुके हो अभी और कितना लगेगा इफ यू कैन टेल अस दैट सो लाइक एप्लीकेशन पार्ट के लिए 80000 तक का स्पेंड हुआ है मेरा अभी तक और एग्जाम्स का कंसीडर करें तो दैट इज लाइक 15 15 30 1000 तक खर्चा हुआ है जी आर एंड ट्रिपल का राइट आइल्स का आयल्स एंड आयल्स एंड जी आर ई का एंड अभी जो मतलब मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम मुझे मिला है उसका टोटल कॉस्टिंग अराउंड फिफ्टी फोर जाता है इंक्लूडिंग द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग ओके सो फिफ्टी फोर लैक्स जा रहा है सो उसके लिए फंडिंग वगैरह से अलग से वो मैनेज करना पड़ता है बट इनिशियली आपको वीजा के लिए फर्स्ट ईयर का ही फंडिंग अवेलेबल करना पड़ता है दैट इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेवन लैक और समथिंग आता है उसका सो दैट फंडिंग इज रन बाई बैंक या लोन्स अवेलेबल है डेल्फ मतलब प्रायोरिटी यूनिवर्सिटी प्रीमियम टीआर यूनिवर्सिटी होने के कारण उसके लिए लोन्स ज्यादा मिलते हैं अवेलेबल लाइक फोर्टी अनसेंशन मतलब विदाउट कोलेट्रल फोर्टी लैक तक के लोन्स अवेलेबल है मार्केट में ओके ओवर टू यू राहुल आई थिंक yeah so i have few questions rohan when like there are many universities in europe when you were selecting the universities what things generally you check Uh, and uh, you decided like okay this is a university where i have to apply so uh, the first criteria was how uh, good sustainability program is over there mm. so there are some uh, like uh, sweden is that uh, currently leading country in sustainable netherlands is one of them denmark is one of them uh, so i was looking and then uh, later on i uh, classified it according to rankings and the employability ratio and the professors work and what courses they provide so what uh matters the most is i think the, the courses that they provide because it is going to be lasting for like another for entire lifetime with you that's how i thought so, about it i think like uh, i met some students in us who were coming for ms so what they do first of all uh, they select their research interest okay this is their research interest then they check geographical location also when they are applying in us generally ms student they don't check university ranking in us i'm talking about so they check like if some universities here what are the industries close to that university so that they can go for internship so i think this is a one criteria generally people who are coming in us uh, they generally chose like that which could like you tell about your uh, no i aspire to uh, like uh, i was thinking about phd as well after mm -hmm. masters so i was thinking in that direction as uh, in that sense as well that uh, okay. what will benefit my phd more mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So the college I graduate is one, another criteria which will help there. I have one more question. So let us say I decide like I have to go for masters. So in which semester generally you think like student has to start and what documents like how much time it will take actually this process. So uh, like I had the same confusion. Uh, like I had option of spring intake as well as uh, the fall intake. So I chose fall intake uh, because most of the education over in Netherlands, at least I know, uh, gets over by the fall. So August is the end date. So okay. I will be passing out with the ba- batches of graduates and uh, postgraduate students. So I thought that that will be beneficial for me uh, to just get into industry uh, quite well. And the programs, I think so. Some programs in some universities are different uh, for uh, spring intake and for fall intake. So okay. that is a difference. So I would prefer the fall intake is uh, like professors are much more interactive. The st- uh, the peers are much more active in fall intake. And for fall intake, I think so. If you're planning for fall 24, you should uh, start applying in fall 23 itself. So a year prior, you should be ready with all the things in your mind. So you get, uh, you will, you are flexible during the time of applications as well. Okay. Uh, one more question, which I have. So over now you got, I think three, four admits from different universities. So what do you think is the main criteria, which generally they look for? So if that thing is there in your profile, then there are chances of getting selection. What do you think? I think so. The SOP is uh, a main major criteria that matters, uh, explaining the CV in some way, because it is the only way you get to interact with the universities. So SOP is one of them, CV, uh, which reflects, I guess, LinkedIn profile has something to do uh, if it is European nation, because uh, they focus more towards uh, LinkedIn profiles as well. And uh, how you portray yourself in which field you are interested to do research in. So those all things matter a lot. Okay. So you told also like you are now applying for scholarship. So can you tell us like when exactly you have to apply for scholarship after getting admission or before that? Uh, So for Delph, uh, as far as I know, it is uh, all like uh, some programs have the scholarship forms available uh, in their platform itself while filling the application form. Uh, some you have to fill it externally via study link uh, that is the centralized portal to all the documents and stuff. So okay. these are the two ways uh, how you can apply for the scholarships. So did you mail to any professor for the scholarships and all? Uh, yeah, I uh, mailed. Uh, I had done some cold mailing, but uh, it was not for this university particularly. I had uh, done some cold mailing for KTH and for Queen Mary uh, London. So actually in US, I want to tell what students do. So there are two kinds of university which give scholarship for MS student. PhD, we all have scholarships, but uh, there is one category of university which are in that geographical location where generally students are not coming. So there are some departments where generally students are not coming, international students. So they have funding for that kind of department, that kind of universities. And other thing is that universities are very, very good, like MIT, UT Austin, so something like that. So uh, they generally have a lot of funds. So they offer scholarship to master's students also. But uh, what you have to do, you have to write an email to the professor and you have to ask whether any funding is available in his research group. So this is one way in which students generally get scholarship in US. Yeah. Okay, Rahul, uh, I want to ask you something like uh, uh, when we come to, uh, you know, courses like MS, uh, you need to spend money like uh, Rohan also mentioned that looks like huge money investment. Uh, He also mentioned that without collateral also you can get loan and something. I tell you, there are so many students in India, lakhs of students who aspire to go in good universities put effort there and get into good career opportunities and good jobs. And Indians have done that and Indians have done marvelously good in that. Indians are very good technocrats. They are the best technocrats in the world. Now tell me the only thing which stops from uh, capable students from exploring these options is money. The moment you say that, okay, 20, 50 lakh rupiah lagega, uh, our uh, our inspiration goes down. I mean, people don't apply. So each thing say how, what is your take on this? And uh, as a mentor, if I tell students that no, 20-50 lakh will get a career too, and it's not a bad thing, then how you can put these things forward? The fear so, of investment of money. Yeah. 
I think kya hota hai ki first of all you have to spend money that is true but you don't have to spend money from your pocket first of all loans are available education loans so there is not any extra burden on your family so aapko loan milta hai everybody takes that loan and comes here so once you are in ms i see in us uh, people are doing part time jobs so they will get money in dollars so that is the one thing in which they can repay that loan other thing like this is very common in masters so students generally do their study for three semester and one semester they do internships mm-hmm. or there is like some small semester also between fall and spring that is summer semester in that also students are doing internships so they are getting very highly paid for that mm-hmm. so this is the thing like okay in between aapko thoda thoda paisa aa raha hai loan ka theek hai but the moment you complete your ms once you are into job so mai dekhta hu ki Somebody is in Eastern Coast of US, so computer science students in New York. The moment they completed their MS, they are getting very, very good jobs. They are getting $8,000 per month, something like that. So mm. it is very easy to repay that loan. Mm. Or uh, once you are in US, you will get another ways also. You can take a lot of loans from here, India, mein de do so there are many ways uh, which you can do. But I think return on investment is very, very high. Once you get job, they are highly paid. and you are earning in dollars pounds and you can easily uh, repay that loan rahul jaise yeah jaise koi student aata hai wo aap aapko bolta hai ki sir mere ko ms karna hai now uh, suppose he is not aware at all wo bolta hai sir mere ko ms karna hai mere ko acha career chahiye batao guide karo kaise kare to how do you guide matlab aapka pehla steps kya hota hai what do you suggest him first of all agar tumhe masters karna hai you have something in your mind ki if let us say i am from mechanical to mera itna hona chahiye dimag mein ki i have to go in thermal i have to go in manufacturing or design once you shortlist that ki hame kis mein jana hai then uh, you have to shortlist the universities so universities aapko kaise dekhni hai you have to look for courses like if you are interested in cfd to cfd ke related koi course hai in this way you have to select 15 universities initially i think rohan also did that so out of that 50 you have to take a decision you have to check the geographical location agar industries hain aas paas then uh, aapko university select hogi prepare documents write a very good sop and that's it there is no technical exam nothing like gate you don't have to write that only thing is this toefl and ielts is there on the uh, europe sometimes you don't have to write that also so it's easy so mera manna kya hai after coming to us what i observe agar gate likho if you are not getting iits and nits so then private university se masters karne ka koi fayda nahi hai then you spend money and come to abroad yahan pe karo and you'll get very very good career after that that's my say Mm-hmm. Okay, Rohan. Now over to you. You have written GATE also and uh, GRE also and IELTS also. So you are, uh, you know, a healthy combination of all the learning domains, right? Technical, you are sound guy, and now you are uh, these exams also you have cracked. So uh, I'll ask you, Rohan, uh, how difficult is IELTS? IELTS is not at all difficult. I like I appeared it for like I studied for a week or so, and then a I week? immediately yeah a week. that's it uh, do you know Ro- do you know rohan there are so many mtech people in iits and nits jinko achhi opportunity mil rahi hoti europe mein but you know why they don't apply ki sir ielts hai pata nahi humse hoga ki nahi and they are the guys who have got very good gate score landed up in iits ab wo ielts se dar rahe hain so that is the reason i asked you this question is ielts something which you can you should fear about no it's a normal english exam is what i feel जो मैंने मैं जैसा मेरा टेक था मैंने जब आई का पोर्शन देखा था इट वाज लाइक मैंने ये टेंथ तक किया है और मुझे बस ये वापस करना है दैट्स इट तो इसको एक रिवीजन लगती है बस बाकी कुछ नहीं है Okay. Once you are above that, then it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. So if uh, if this is the only admission criteria, I mean, this is the only criteria for admission. So in one month, can be done, right, Rohan? Right, Rohan? Yes, yes, yes. One month is sufficient. Just make it. Can do students. Okay. Now, now, Rohan, uh, you you also mentioned about the you know uh, getting loan without collateral or something. I tell you one thing. Uh, you know that I have also experienced, and everybody will experience. Like the moment you say loan. parents are you know very skeptic in fact especially 
फादर्स दे आर वेरी स्केप्टिक के लोन है बीस पचास लाख का यार उतारना भी पड़ेगा बर्डन हो जाएगा सो सो हाउ टू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन एज फार एज मैंने जब देखा था सो मैंने रिटर्न ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट का एक ऑप्शन बताया था मेरे घर पे कि रिटर्न ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बहुत हाई रहता है सो यू कैन रिपे इट इन लाइक टू थ्री इयर्स इट सेल्फ सो आपको इतना बारह साल या तेरह साल जो वेट होता है वो करना पड़ता नहीं है इन जनरल एंड दैट्स इट मैं मतलब मेरे घर पे ऐसा कुछ इश्यूज नहीं था रिगार्डिंग लोन्स एंड स्टफ सो वो बहुत हेल्थी कम्युनिकेशन होता था कि आई यूज टू कम्युनिकेट कितने लग सकते हैं इस यूनिवर्सिटी को एंड दे टू से कि ओके okay, हो सकता है नहीं हो सकता है we'll अच्छा, रोहन जो स्टूडेंट बाहर एमएस करने के लिए प्लान कर रहा है जैसे राहुल ने बताया कि वहां पे भी स्कॉलरशिप मिल वहां पे मिल जाता है अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिल जाता है और आपको जॉब लग गया तो अगर अच्छा जॉब लग गया तो विद इन वन ईयर ऑल्सो यू कैन रिटर्न no i want to ask you before you land up in a foreign country for such courses do you need to acquire some kind of uh, skill set uh, like uh, engineering skill set i am talking about not english or something but engineering skill set which helps you to earn there and get a good job kuch pehle se ke jana chahiye इंजीनियरिंग स्किल सेट आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट क्योंकि मैंने काफी सीनियर से अभी जो कोर्स में था उसमें काफी सीनियर से बात की सो दे सेट की प्री रिक्विजिट्स की जरूरत नहीं है जितना तुमने इंजीनियरिंग में पढ़ा है उतना तुमको आना चाहिए बेसिकली क्योंकि द पोर्शन गोज लाइक वो स्टार्ट में स्टार्टिंग से स्टार्ट करते हैं बट वो बहुत जल्दी ग्रास करके आगे बढ़ जाते हैं so you don't get time to cope up with everything there mm-hmm. uh, they also said ki uh, agar tum country specific jaise germany ya uh, dutch land mein aa rahe ho mm-hmm. so it is preferred ki agar tumhara core uh, field hai to you need interaction with the people in internships and stuff so uh, dutch language ya german language ya seek ke aao so that tumhe udhar problem nahi hoga but uh, baki as such as such as a requirement as as but ye language jaise ja, german language and all dutch language is not prerequisite for getting admission right no there is uh, mm-hmm. like uh, germany mein kuch courses hai that needs german but uh, dutch and other europe mein aisa kuch nahi hai acha rohan my question to you now is this from the student side and that is europe ke andar bahut si countries hain it's a continent you know like when we talk about germany we talk about france we talk about switzerland then sweden norway netherland uk which country and why How do you decide that? कि कौन सी कंट्री में जाए और क्यों जाए Why Norway? Why Sweden? Why Germany? Mm-hmm. So uh, ऐसा मतलब straight up answer नहीं है थोड़ा complex answer है but uh, depends on the country itself कि वो कित कैसा promote करती है like Denmark promotes uh, wind energy mm-hmm. so उनके wind के जो uh, courses रहते हैं that is very highly advanced mm-hmm. और uh, वो आई थिंक सो कंट्री में बेस्ट विंड के सर विंड के कोर्सेज प्रोवाइड करते हैं सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन व्हाट यू हैव टू स्टडी एंड व्हाट द कंट्री ऑफर्स यू इन रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट और फिर कंपनीज का भी uh, एक पार्ट रहता है जैसे अगर मैं नेदरलैंड्स को देखूँ तो फिलिप्स सिमेंस एबीपी जैसे कंपनीज है इधर सो so, uh, मैं अगर इधर के टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज से पास आउट हो रहा हूँ तो मेरे थोड़े से लाइक like, चांसेस है कि मैं इंटीग्रेट uh, हो जाऊँ उधर Mm-hmm. that's how i th- thought about the country itself mm-hmm. okay rahul now you you are a product of iit kanpur you did your masters from there then you did some job in uh, caterpillar for couple of years uh, landed up in us now so rahul uh, ek question aapke liye straight ki uh, student whether student should aspire to get into though you have answered that ki agar gate acha to iit nits mein chale jao aur uske baad chale jana scholarship pe Uh, but not then go abroad so my question to you now is uh, you know uh, students in btech level they are not very clear ki kya kare lekin ek baat main janta hu 80 to 90% students wants to go abroad actually acche career opportunities ke liye bhi because we are technocrat and ek one point or the other in our life with three technocrat sitting here all of us have explored foreign opportunities and we have gone there but kisi na kisi stage pe jata hai to usko kya guide karna chahte hain aap the student who is in btech confused what to do kya kare what is your advice to him if he has that inspiration yeah uh, i think first of all it to fourth year mein planning bahut achhi honi chahiye ki if you are if you want to go to abroad so you have a plan in your mind ki sabse pehle ki deadlines kab hoti hain and uh, how much time you will take to so, kab apply karna hai first thing mm-hmm. usse bhi pehle uh, like previous question you are asking rohan ki whether any engineering uh, mind uh, engineering prerequisite is there मेरा टेक ये है कि वंस यू शुड राइट गेट एग्जाम इवन इफ यू आर कमिंग टू अब्रॉड तुम्हें लिखना चाहिए गेट एग्जाम वंस यू आर गोइंग थ्रू दैट सिलेबस इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थिंक गेट एग्जाम एक बार लिखना चाहिए थर्ड ईयर में एंड फोर्थ ईयर आई थिंक बेस्ट पार्ट इज लाइक कॉन्टेक्ट विद पीपल हु आर ऑलरेडी देयर इन अब्रॉड उनसे पूछो किस तरह के जॉब रोल्स हैं ओके एंड यू आज रोहन ऑल्सो लाइक विच कंट्री टू सिलेक्ट आई हैव वेरी सिंपल आंसर फॉर दैट इफ यू आर डूइंग मास्टर्स नेवर चेक लाइक विच यूनिवर्सिटी इज गुड नथिंग जस्ट चेक की उस कंट्री में कितनी कंपनीज हैं इन योर डोमेन वट एवर यू आर सिलेक्टिंग कितनी कंपनीज हैं Mm-hmm. if companies are there join that country join that university you will get a good career so i think this is the thing here these are some of the criteria right mm-hmm. yes chalo great so so i think i have come to almost an end rahul if you have any question if you have anything to ask uh, rohan otherwise uh, i think we have got all more, more most of the informations yeah i don't have any question but yeah i want to congratulate him he actually worked hard and uh, he got four admit letter that is very yeah. good actually mera question actually usse bhi tha related i forgot to ask that ki char admit bane hain to netherland hi kyun choose kar raha hai rohan uh the university is ranking itself uh, pehle to and uh, matlab maine jab uh, masters ka socha tha so hmm. इनिशियली uh, बहुत सी यूनिवर्सिटीज देखे थे पर्टिकुलर कोर्सेस कुछ पसंद आते हैं हमें कि दिस इज व्हाट आई एस्पायर और व्हाट आई सी आफ्टर सम इयर्स बिकमिंग सो डेल्फ चार्मर ऐसे यूनिवर्सिटीज थे जिससे मैं बहुत एक्चुअली अटैच हो गया था कि यार इसमें हो जाए तो बस मतलब मजे आ जाएंगे <laughs> चलो हो गए अब तो तुम्हें मजे आएंगे वेन आर यू ज्वाइनिंग रोहन वेन आर यू ग्वाइन सो कोर्स इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर सो आई बी लिविंग ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो 15th of August, you want to leave. So, how you want to spend this time now? Ah, abhi to January chal raha hai. You have almost six months. Ah, uh, so I have some engineering prerequisites or uh, Dutch language pe zada focus karne wala ho. Or baaki personal development or wo sab. Hmm. Chalo. That's great, uh, Rohan. So let me again congratulate you on your selection, and I am very sure you will get more uh, selections in coming days. And uh, wish you all the very best and the career options which you choose in the studies uh, domain. sustainable energy technology that is the actually demand of future so i'm really uh, you know happy uh, to see that you are choosing that course so thanks a lot uh, rohan for your time thanks a lot rahul and congratulations to you also rahul and uh, to you rohan thank, thank you thank you very much congratulations rohan yeah thank you sir